All right, for real this time. I've sat here like 10 different times trying to make myself look cuter, <laughs> try to get this lighting right, cause I have my LEDs on. I wanted to give this color like the video like a pink tint, but that with my ring light, my camera's just sitting on the dresser. So this is ghetto. So before we get into the drama and the madness, y'all be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell cause you never know when I'm gonna post <laughs> and leave a positive comment down below. What up you guys, it's Lola X. I know, I know. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened, okay? <laughs> I've been working, I've been schooling, or trying to, it got ghetto real quick. Like, so the last time I sat down with y'all, I told y'all um, I got my dream job or whatever, and I went back to school or whatever. And I wanted to do like a catching up with y'all video like halfway through the semester, which is right around my birthday. I'm a school photographer, so my job is seasonal, very similar to a school semester. Like stuff dies down right around now. I'm recording this. December 1st basically so stuff kind of died down um, so around my birthday was like halfway through the season we started in August my birthday's in October so I really wanted to sit down with y'all then and tell y'all how it was going and I want to make a whole separate video about my job and my office because honestly they're toxic <laughs> it is toxic it is giving hostile environment and I'm gonna call them out on it period because I'm getting to where I kind of want to be controversial <laughs> But yeah, anyway, around my birthday, it just keeps happening to me. I don't know why, but I just got kind of sad, very sad. My grandmother got her knee replaced. Literally, my birthday was on a Saturday. She got her knee replaced the Tuesday before my birthday. So I ended up like canceling some of my festivities because I just wanted to stay close. Bing. So I ended up like canceling some festivities and that was around the time I wanted to record this video for you guys because I took a, almost like a week off of work because her surgery was during the week. I didn't want to be at work while all that was going on. And then it's my birthday, like I'm taking some days off, period. But yeah, I ended up doing nothing for my birthday. And after that, time just kind of slipped away. I got back in the groove of work and school and this is literally the first time I've gotten a chance to sit down with you guys. I wanted to like clean um, our bedroom up a little bit, do some laundry, get some other stuff Stuff done before I sat down again. I have a checklist. I know I always have to have a script when I'm doing these kinds of videos because I'm horrible. I'll just babble like I think I'm already babbling. <laughs> it's pretty short as far as what's happened since the last guys last time you guys have seen me, which I last recorded in August, I think. Y'all don't talk about my nails. That's another thing. This is my second set and I wanted to record each time with my nails done. My girlfriend did my hair. It's lime green in the back. Y'all can probably see that. I wanted to record my hair fresh, like all of that. Like, and here I am yet again. Like one of the last times I sat down, I was saying I never record when my hair is cute. Like I need to get, I need to get better. But when I tell y'all this season, this semester was chaotic so i'm just gonna start from the beginning so i guess i'll start with school school's been school was okay i really don't even have much to say about school me and school are going through right now i'm feeling defeated <laughs> i um but i'll say i gave it the best I, I gave school the best try i could the last time i was in college and hit that like seasonal depression i gave up you get what i'm saying and for a minute i was not what's the word engaged i was not engaged for a little minute but i really kicked myself in the but to do the best I could to get back into the groove of school. So for that, I'm proud of myself. My transcript can say whatever, <laughs> but I'm proud of me. And that's pretty much it with school. I want to make an entire video about school as well because literally just the registration process reminded me of why I quit. Like, that was annoying. And I'm going to talk about work and I'm going to hit back to school because I broke my phone and that messed up my schooling. So I'm going to get into that. Work. So y'all remember last time I left off, I would, I literally only did training on, it was basically just how to like set up the equipment. And we like took some pictures of each other, like my coworkers and stuff. And that was it. I had no interaction with staff, faculty, students, anything like that. Um, I ended up working K through 12. I've met every age group, pre-K kids included, seniors. I've 
I've met them all at this point. White schools, black schools, super in the middle, um, private schools, charter schools, average public schools. Like I've seen it, special needs. I've seen it all at this point. Well, not at all, but I've seen a lot. Um, and I'll tell y'all, I was pleasantly surprised at my interactions with the schools. Like I'm not gonna lie. I've had those teachers that act like they're scared of me. <laughs> like when I'm in the parking lot, asking where the entrance is, they think I'm about to steal their little Chromebooks or something. I don't know what they be thinking, but they be acting scared of me. I'm not gonna act like, or like some teachers just had stink attitude. Not toward me necessarily, but like, just like, girl, you work at an elementary school. Like, why are you so salty right now? Like, even I'm not salty. But I was surprised because I thought the staff, like my coworkers, were gonna be the ones to make my life easier and it would be the teachers and the students that kind of got on my nerves. It's the opposite, y'all. I cannot stand my coworkers. I like a very, like literally, I could on one finger tell you how many coworkers I like. Like, get on my nerves. Like, everybody. I hope one of y'all find my YouTube channel. Like, supervisors and all, get on my nerves. The teachers at the schools, like, I really chop it up with some of them it's really cool to talk to them i really feel like i'm doing something in the world taking these pictures for real like i kind of see what they mean because you really like in the little cliche like this is why you should work for us videos and they're like oh it makes you feel so good because you make other people feel good but you really do any interaction i've had as a photographer outside of this job i knew the person so it's easier to make a person you know feel beautiful you know which qualities make them feel good about themselves but meeting these complete strangers who you don't know you don't know their story you don't know what they've been told about their appearance and for them to feel good based off of this one picture for them to look at it and be like that's my best picture i've had yet like that feels good because it's like yes girl you're cute like especially teachers they be ripping on themselves like you're cute so <laughs> i was pleasantly surprised by that how cool for real some of the teachers and the students are i gotta let y'all know naturally i feel like it's a given my favorite age group is actually high schoolers most people i've asked at work their favorite group is elementary <sighs> the kids are cute don't get me wrong like they're nice i haven't had any i haven't had any sassy kids like knock on wood but i haven't had any kids even middle schoolers give me like you know neck roll energy but elementary is just annoying because some of those kids literally don't know their names I'm sorry, but I don't see how you send your your kid to a public institution without knowing their name at the end of the day. I don't care if it's pre-K, kindergarten, or what. Your kid should know their first and last name. I understand, like, some of the kids, you ask them their last name, and they'll have to say their whole government. They'll be like, my name's Susie. I'm like, Susie, there's eight Susies in here. What's your last name? She's like, Susie Marie Jenkins. I can get with you, Susie, because that's cool. You know your whole name. It's either all or nothing. That's cool. But at least, at least know your full name. Like, that's kind of annoying and that's why I don't like about elementary because they're just so time consuming and I find it hard to connect with them like it's just kind of awkward they don't be talking about nothing high schoolers you can really kind of especially seniors I love doing senior formals I'm gonna tell y'all too I don't like doing um per like personalized senior pictures I think they're really cheesy a few poses to pick from I feel like the backgrounds are whack like I feel like Lola X photography outside of where they allow you to photograph it's just better for me I'd rather do like a seniors pictures on my own time because they, they'd be better like I'd actually take you to downtown Greensboro or downtown Winston or in front of a mural or at your school or something like y'all them pictures be cheap didn't try hard literally me and one of my friends went down to the train tracks with a cannon and did my senior portraits and I absolutely love them to this day we went to like a little flower field and then went to the football field at my high school and took the pictures like I think it was way better than anything my current company does as far as pictures are concerned but yeah it's been a great season love the kids well I'm lying it has not been a great season I about quit twice why did I even say that and it, it was because of the staff like I was, I'm gonna do a whole video about my job because they're unorganized they're toxic sorry y'all my camera cut me off <laughs> yeah they're just toxic i don't know exactly where i left off but just being a kid that you know like my dad was a football coach i played a couple sports i was a band kid a choir kid you guys helping each other gets the job done at the end of the day everyone goes home quicker everyone's happier the customer's happier i learned that in you know being a waitress like everybody help everyone run their food all the everyone's making higher tips because everyone's food is out quicker do you get what i'm saying there's not that type of people and it's really annoying i've i've met a few people that i really feel like i'm going to hold on to those friendships for a long time if not forever but most of them po po most of them people yeah be at work 
has been okay. The pay rate is great though, so I'm staying. <laughs> I'm thinking about transferring to a Houston office if possible when, you know, choose to embark on that part of things. Because another point I have on here was that I almost quit both school and work. Again, the BS with work, like, and I'm again, I'm gonna get, I'm getting to more because I don't want to spend too long talking about anything. But when I tell y'all they send us to these schools ill prepared, like a lot of stuff goes into having a picture day ready. Even I didn't know. You have to have data. There's a lot of paperwork that goes into it. Equipment, you know, the cameras and all that stuff. And I've just had, I've just gone to schools too many times, and every all the boxes aren't checked all the t's aren't crossed and all the i's aren't dotted and they need to be when you're dealing with in, with institutions like that like y'all tell us schools don't like for us to come in and interrupt their school day which it shows like help us not interrupt their school day by giving us everything we need that's all i'm asking so yeah that was really frustrating school didn't really even rub me wrong i just was going through i was going through it and i was working a lot around midterm time so, so it just got crazy i broke my phone my phone i, I pretty much already touched on my birthday too i didn't well i didn't do anything for my birthday so <laughs> that was that <laughs> i i enjoyed my birthday thoroughly but i didn't do anything i went out to a couple dinners went to longhorn and a mexican restaurant and had to be such amazing margaritas that was so good so I, I actually enjoyed my birthday um but yeah I broke my phone y'all so one morning I was on my way to work I was on my way to a school literally up the road from my house I was locking the front door and our porch is literally stone like not cobblestone but some kind of ugly ass 70 stone and I dropped my phone on the porch and it it gave in it gave out like it was tripping luckily enough so I had two photo shoots and I want to include the pictures I hope I can go ahead and include them here. I did business headshots environmental photos i've only done environmental so far i haven't done any indoor portraits yet um and the other photo shoot my home girl was turning 20 so i did a photo shoot for her right big burgo and literally i took her pictures like i got off work took her pictures edited them that night and the next morning i broke my phone so i was so glad i actually got her pictures to her so um that's also why I didn't upload for a minute on my channel because most of the footage I was really trying to get done was vlog footage that I already had. I wasn't really trying to sit down and record a video at the time. I was really just wanting to edit and once my data was, once my stuff was gone, I was just pretty much working and doing school at that point. I kind of put the channel on the back burner just a little bit because I knew I just didn't have time to sit down and prep to do all of this. So when my phone broke, again, I couldn't access any of those pictures, um, but they are now up. When you guys saw a few of them, I uploaded, I'm gonna try to upload completely different photos in this video from the ones on my photography Instagram. It's like Lola X underscore photography, I think, but it's down in the description below. Please be sure to follow my photography page for more. I really want to get more photos up there. I have a lot of older photos that I just need to put up just to catch up on stuff. But yeah, those are the two photo shoots I got done and I couldn't even do anything with those pictures for the longest. Luckily the clients got them in time, which is the most important part. But again, I wanted the pictures out. And like my, the vlog of us moving back from Houston, that is there as well. Like on my phone, we ended up taking a trip up to West Virginia to visit some family. That was vlogged at like the beginning of September, got back, broke my phone. So like a lot of things have been put on hold because my phone was broken. So again, hopefully being away from school and work when we take this trip, I can just full send into Lola X because I won't really have anything else to do while we're out of town. That's pretty much it for this video. I really want to try to get this up ASAP. Been too long, like it's literally already December. I told you I wanted to record this around my birthday. It's been months. I'm so sorry. But please know, anytime I do step away, I'm just working and lifing. Like I said, y'all just hang in there. I have some editing coming up. Oh, and I do want to mention I have a video coming up for you guys, a day in the life of a school photographer. Hopefully I don't get fired for it. Um, and I'll be showing you guys the entire from like four in the morning 
till I get off um, process of me taking pictures and everything that goes into that. So stay tuned for that and many more videos to come. I still want you guys to like officially meet my girlfriend. You guys still haven't met my puppy. He's laying right there, but he's sleeping good, so I'm not gonna mess with him. But that is it. Hopefully this video isn't way too long. I appreciate all the support. I've gotten a few subscribers in my absence. My views have definitely been working their way up. And yeah, we've, we've hit 50 subscribers. That was my first goal. So let's just get up to 75. So yeah, that'll be all you guys. Thank you so much for all the love. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, stay beautiful, stay woke, and most importantly, stay you. I'll see you guys next time. And if I am a reflection of him, a reflection of him, I'm gonna fly because it's a light, it shines so bright, shines so bright, though. She is so real, and I love the way that he makes me feel. And if I am a reflection of him, then I must be blind. Jordan, you're so